Well, good morning. I'm going to metal detecting solo this time. Why is that? Not that I don't want to be with people. <laughs> it has nothing to do with that. But I wanted to kind of have to be on my own schedule that nobody else would like. And going to places that everybody's probably tired of going to. So the reason is I'm trying out my uh, Deus XP for the first time. So what I'm going to do is they they claim that it'll find stuff where the other detectors don't, you know, where you've already been over and over. So that's where I'm going to places we've been over and over and over and over and over. And uh, I'm hoping at each place to find one coin. Although I have to be realistic, it could be there's no coins left. So, you know, you're going to find nothing, obviously. The other catch is... <clears throat> Most of these places, my friend Greg has the same machine, the Deus XP, and he's been over it, these places with his. So, could be he's cleaned it out. So, anyway, and each place I'm only going to stay there in maybe 10 or 15 minutes, unless I'm finding something, and then move on to the next place. So, like I said, I don't think anybody else would enjoy the way I'm doing it today. So, I'm just going by myself. So, I will see you there. Well, the first place I'm going is a spot we call, uh, let's see, what do we call it? Yellow Brick Road. It's an old school site. And I think my brothers are just there two or three weeks ago without me. I don't think they found anything. But anyway, we've been there a bunch of times. So the odds are against me, but anyway, good exercise. You know that I could use Get an early start because it's going to be a real hot day, so get out here when it's reasonably cool. This site actually has a fence all around it, no trespassing signs and all that, so we can't get right up to where the school is, so you just have to go around the outside of the fence. You always wish we could, but actually I talked to a friend of mine one time, he had permission a long time ago to be in there to, and he detected and he said he really didn't find anything to speak of so it's probably been hit before you know probably numerous times anyway so anyway we'll just get hopefully there's some little bit left outside the fence This is in the Lake Elsinore area. So I sold my Mine Lab Safari and my Mine Lab Go Find 60 to get this Deus, Deus XP. Very lightweight. So hopefully it will be worth it. I guess I'll soon find out. It's all wireless some wireless coil here sends a digital signal from the coil to this control box which is about the size of a cell phone and this comes off you can put it on your holster or whatever you want there's the old school yeah I didn't realize all these weeds would have been grown up here so this might mess me up I have to come back another time. But anyway, maybe I'll try a, a couple spots here. This one... This is one thing I don't like about the Garrett Carrot. If you've got super hard ground, a lot of times it won't you won't get a signal. You've got to break the ground up and where you think might be possibly the area, and then it'll finally come through. And I've changed the sensitivity on it and all that. But still doesn't always work good in super hard ground. Okay.
getting closer. Yeah, I think in the hard ground situations, I should use my uh, uh, mine lab pinpointer. It seems to work better in those situations. That's the edge of a coin way down there. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. <sighs> Scratch it up. Okay, I got it. What is it? Quarter. How old? Huh. I'm just going to have to clean it up and find out, I guess. I think it's a quarter. Well, hopefully sometime in the near future, the county will make them knock the weeds down and I can come back and try again. But anyway, I spent about the 15 minutes here that I said I would. Yeah, one of the main advantages of the Deus XP is it's super lightweight. You can swing it all day and not get tired. I had been uh, watching videos of people using these, especially over in Europe for years now. Thought about getting one, but it's just uh, too expensive for me. And then Greg got one, and uh, I thought, well, he seems to be enjoying it. Maybe I can figure out a way to get it. So I got it from a guy that uh, he put it all together, went to his backyard, saw, turned it on, saw that it worked. Then he stuck it in his garage just about four months ago and never took it out again. So basically it was brand new. And so I saved a few hundred bucks on it. Be able to get it after I sold my other detectors. Next place I'm going to we call Electric Avenue. I haven't actually been there for a while. Wasn't do doing good the last time I was there. But let's see what happens. If I can find one coin, I'll be happy. Well, a little disappointed. I was hoping the quarter would be older, a silver one, but it's 1980s something. But it's still a quarter. The, uh, I was going to mention the advantage of the wireless coil is when you have a wire connected from the coil to the control box, you're going to lose some of the signals. So you don't have that problem. You can also, I don't have them, but as an option, you can get wireless headphones that it'll send the signal to those too. I do have headphones, but they're wired, but uh, normally I don't use headphones except if it's a, you know, noisy area, but usually I have the sound turned up loud enough where I can hear what I need to hear. So, hopefully I'll find one coin at the next place. More would be even better. If I find nothing, that's okay too. Like I say, I, I don't expect to find anything, so the bar is very low. Well, unfortunately, it looks like at Electric Avenue, I've got the same problem with the weeds being like five feet high. Try this other spot on the other side over here and see. Yeah, same problem, all the weeds. Okay, I'll save this for another time. Over here, we were just starting to hit a while back, got a few coins, then all of a sudden they decided to start building stores on it so that one fizzled out well the next place is called the turnaround site and uh, actually we did hit this one not too long ago it's a pretty good chance we cleaned it out but again I'll give it 10 or 15 minutes see if I'm getting any signals at all fortunately this place they did chop the weeds down pretty good and that's why we came here a few weeks ago. We saw that they'd cut the weeds down. I think we got a few coins out of here, not too many. Something 
So I'll give that probably give this place like 10 minutes. Let's give it a go. This is unbelievable. Look at this mess. People, uh, they broke this off so they could get in there. And then they dumped all this trash here. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. The pigs people can be. Well, obviously I can't detect the back area because of this trash, so let's go to the side. Well, I seem to be having a lot of obstacles today. If it's not weeds, it's trash. <laughs> so I might just forget about this place. I'll, I'll try for a couple more minutes here. Even though I see there's trash out here in the front that wasn't here before. All kinds of little bits of trash here might be throwing the thing off. Let's see. Okay, there is something there. Oh, there it is. Memorial. A little corroded, but that's okay. So, yeah, let's see if I can see. Yeah, it's a newer one. I'm guessing the guys that dumped the trash dropped at 2005. Well, so far the two places out of four that I was able to partially uh, detect, I found my minimum of one coin each. Unfortunately, they weren't old coins, but I guess I didn't uh, stipulate that, so it doesn't matter. Okay, now we're going on to the Women's Club. That one has been hit super heavy. Okay, I'm at the Women's Club. And I'll be amazed if I actually find something here. Yeah, we'll see. I was going to say, with this, you, uh, Deus, you, Deus, you can, um, you can upgrade it too. I upgraded to 4.0. You you know, hook it up to the computer and get the latest updates. Yeah, I covered about half of the area at the women's club that I allotted time to do. Didn't find one coin, so. Now this next place, I think we call it Pass the Olives. And I will be super amazed if I find something there. Randy and myself just went back there recently and we were astounded that we both found like one coin each or something, so it was pretty deep. But anyway, it'll be in the shade, so that's a good thing. so far the places I could go two places I found stuff coins two places I haven't so two for two hopefully this place will give up one coin but this is very doubtful keep my expectations low so if I find something I'll be surprised Yep, a bullet. No, actually, it's a cap. It's a valve stem. That's pretty good. That was almost six inches deep. Found that. Okay. 
As I mentioned, uh, the coil has rechargeable lithium batteries in it and uh, it'll last about 15 hours. The remote control or the control box will be about 22 hours maximum before it needs a recharge. It was close. I was about a foot away from a rattlesnake. I didn't even think there'd be rattlesnakes here. I don't know if you can see them. All coiled up right there. Also, I saw something about <laughs> just a few inches from my foot start moving. I'm going to leave him alone. He really blends in. I don't know if you can see him, but I don't want to get too close. There he is. Well, now I'm going down to the Browns Ranch site. Now that one is, he really hit that one heavy. So, again, I'll give it 15 minutes. Well, so far, uh, I'm happy with the performance of the dais. It's gotten things real deep. And, uh, you know, if there's nothing good to get there, it doesn't matter what kind of detector you have, you're not going to get anything. But when there was something that got it, and so we'll try a few more spots before it gets too hot. So I'm at the brown site. I'm gonna make a super fast run through here. There's a road runner over there. I don't know if you can see him under that little bush next to the bush. Try to get closer, he'll probably take off. That's what I needed over by that rattlesnake. <laughs> They'll actually kill rattlesnakes. There he is. He's getting ready to move. There he is, the road runner. <laughs> he's trying to break off a branch or something. Looks like he's eating it. Well, maybe I'm not finding any coins, but I've seen some interesting creatures, anyway. Okay, I gave the Browns Ranch site 15 minutes, and I got nothing, so I'll move on to the next location. It's getting real hot, but I'm not giving up yet. Next. We will find you. Uh, I got one or two more places. Okay, I'm going to go to one more. Probably Schoolyard Bully for just a couple minutes. Where there used to be an old schoolhouse from the 18, I forget, 1880s, 90s, to 
to like the 50s. Yeah, I came here with Randy a couple weeks ago and we found zzz, nothing. <laughs> so I'm probably going to spend 10 minutes here at the max. Yeah, most of the area here, the weeds are too high. Uh, they tilled some of it, but we already checked that over real good. But anyway, overall, the dais performed well. It has tons of programs, all kinds of settings, different frequencies you can turn it to. I just put it on the basic and it worked, so. Would you search through the lonely earth for me? I'm through the bright. As time goes on, I'll try some of the other settings. I was thinking, since I get home, I might spend like five minutes in my yard. People have been kind of like living on the, that property since about the 60s, so maybe there's something. I've always looked at my driveway for stuff I've lost, but really haven't looked around the yard for what other people could have lost a long time ago. Might have even been the 50s, I'm not sure. I was going to mention one more thing about the dais. Uh, I had a choice of a 9 inch or 11 inch coil, and all the research I did. Seemed like the 9 inch for what I do would be about the best for getting around bushes and all that. So, so it uh, goes, you know, about, about the same depth and all that. So, so anyway, that's what I've got. getting very hot so I'm going to spend like I say maybe five minutes in my yard. You can always go out there in the evening sometime. Uh, 1951. Okay. Well, getting another signal in this same area here. And this was a coin spill. So this is, let's see, I found coins in just two places today. This will be the third spot out of different ones I went to. Nice, I can find another one. Wait. Right there, okay. I think I see one. Here's one sideways. See it down there in the dirt? I got it. I got it. Alright, what do we got? Is this a weedy again or something else? It's a weedy. Oh, I did nick it. I tried not to, but I messed up. Now let me check. It took some doing to clean this one up to see the date, but I think it's 1928, I believe. 
Okay, I found this <laughs> under there. Thought uh, that's an emblem like is that Chrysler? Huh. I don't know what a, where the, this ever came from, but anyway, there it is. I guess that's what was making all the racket. Let me just double check. Yeah, well, okay, could be something else right there. This thing is so hard. See, so whatever it is, I'm gonna ruin it. Just try to dig this up. Probably should have put some water to the ground and let it soak, would have been better. Oh well, I'm eager to see what it is. Anyway, can't wait. I got a couple places it's hitting over here and here. So I'm going to turn this off again. Okay, here's a, something else I dug up, like a kids, I guess, star of oh, police. It's broken, but huh? All right. But that the other thing. Let's see if I'm getting any more hits here. Yeah. Piece of something. Oh. oh, there's a there's a penny. I think it's a penny. <laughs> yeah. Weedy. Okay, see so if I can see a date. Uh, okay, I'm gonna turn this off. 1945. Weedy. Okay, I'm still getting a signal of coin range down here. Over here it's a little less. Right here. Right there. Let's see. Okay. I had an uncle that lived on this property in a little trailer. It might have been in the 1950s. I'm not sure when my dad originally bought this property. But he had this, well, maybe he's like a third cousin living out here. And I wonder if he's the one that lost some of this stuff. Obviously, he wouldn't have kids' toys. <laughs> so who knows who it was. And of course, kids could have been playing here over the years, out in the country. Nobody cared if you're on a vacant lot and all that. Okay. Right down in there. Too bad this ground has to be so hard here.
Yeah, how deep can this thing be? Wait, there's something. Is that some another oddball thing? What is this thing now? I don't know what it is. Kind of doubt metal or something. Oh, what is? Might have horses, giraffes, zebras on it. I don't know. You know huh? Okay, we'll clean that up better and figure it out. I'm sure my wife can. It's 1934. Okay, 44 weedy. Well, this day actually isn't turning out too bad after all. <laughs> Could have stayed home to begin with. Ah, get these rocks. There we go. Let's see if I'm getting making any progress. It's actually right there. around the thing, whatever it is. There it is. I see it. Okay. Is that a weedy? Yeah. Weedy. Might be a 29. I'm not positive. 25, 29. Yeah, that's in the 90s. That's what I want. So it might be loose from where I was digging already. Let's see, I'll go at it easily here so I don't mess it up. Yeah, I thought it might be right on the surface here. Lose room. Still down. Oh, wait, I think I see the edge of it. There it is. See it there? this time. This could be a 28. Could be something in another section now. There's a coin, okay. A memorial. Pretty well toasted. Must be a Zink and Lincoln, I would guess. I can't make out the old date, but it feels like a Zink and Lincoln has that feel. So here's what I ended up with. Got ten Wheaties. 
two memorials and one uh, 1980-something quarter.